Okay, so I have the Chapuli, Chapuli, um, Cricut bar. So, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I didn't know this was made out of actual crickets. Um, <laughs> uh, I've never eaten crickets before, and I'm a little worried about this. And I'm not sure I'm going to like it, so we'll see. Um, it's the matcha bar. You can see that? It's made with um, matcha, goji, and nori. Which sounds like a weird combination because nori is seaweed. And I'm not sure how that would go with matcha tea and goji. But I'm going to video it and you guys can see my reaction to it. I'm not thrilled about eating crickets, but this is supposed to be like super high in protein and a very sustainable um, type of bar. And we can be a little adventurous. Um, so yeah. And it gives 1% back to the planet, so that's nice. Um, let's see. Apparently they use brown crickets. That's that's good to know. Um, it has a lot of carbs for such a small thing. 23 grams of carbs. Um, which is a little worrisome for me because I'm no carb, low carb diet. But anyways, we're going to open it up. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that one movie, I think it's like Snowpiercer or something. But you know how they have like the roach bars that they've been feeding the lower class people in the back? This kind of looks like that. <laughs> um, it smells like a protein bar. And seaweed. Um, it has like little red thingies in there and like little, um, what do you call them? Sesame seeds. I wish this looked better because then I might actually want to eat it. Okay. <laughs> I'm eating crickets. You can definitely taste the seaweed in it. I can't taste the matcha at all. You know, matcha usually has a really strong flavor. I can't really taste the goji either. I can definitely taste the seaweed. Luckily, there's no, like, cricket legs or anything sticking out. I mean, it's not like packed full of flavor. It's an odd taste for sure. Um, for matcha being the big letter on here, it doesn't taste like matcha at all. It tastes like straight up seaweed and a bit of sweetness from the goji berry. Um, it doesn't taste like crickets. I mean, I haven't eaten crickets before, but <laughs> it doesn't taste like I just ate an insect or something. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not like the best protein bar I've ever eaten, but, you know, for eating crickets, it's not that bad. I guess if you really needed some like serious sustainable energy, um, some protein, um, this was your only option, I wouldn't be that bad. I can't believe I just took three bites of crickets, but if you can get past the cricket part, 
then you'll be fine. But yeah, so this is the, I don't know how to say that. <coughs> Chipu, sesame seeds stuck in my throat. Ignore that. <laughs> that was not because of the taste or anything. It just got stuck in my throat. Shouldn't be talking while I'm doing. <coughs> Anyways, yeah. It's good stuff. Really not that bad. Um, it looks weird, but I mean, yeah. I mean, most protein bars, unless they're packed with, like, peanut butter or something like that, or, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that isn't quite good for you, you just pass it off as a protein bar, then, you know, they take, those usually taste, like, super good and you want to eat them all day. Um, like this, this would be something I would eat if I was, like, in dire need of, um, you know, something, or, you know, if I was... wanting to eat crickets that day, feeling, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I mean, it's not bad. You can try it out for yourself. Everyone has different tastes. You can't taste the crickets, um, but it definitely has a very strong taste of seaweed and it's a little sweetness from the goji berry. Absolutely no taste of matcha tea. Um, I'm not even sure where the matcha comes in in this, but, um, it doesn't smell bad. It kind of does smell like peanut butter, but there's no peanut butter taste in here. I'm pretty sure there's no peanut butter in here. <sighs> but yeah, not too bad. If you want to give it a try, eat some crickets for the day.